Good morning everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos please smash that like button, please do subscribe. It's bank holiday Monday, um, I'm in my flat in Rochester, the sun is out and it looks like it's going to be a lovely day. Um, so good morning everybody and happy bank holiday Monday. Alexa, good morning. Good morning and happy birthday to actor Alison Steadman. She made her name in the TV play Abigail's Party, but may be best known today as Three States Pan from Gavin and Stacey. Alexa, what's the time, please? Good morning, Crystal. It's 8.33 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 26th of August. Alexa, what's the weather outlook? In Rochester, it's 17 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect lots of clouds, with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? That's really only the chicken's business. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American actor and comedian John Mulaney, American actor Chris Pine, American actor and singer Macaulay Culkin, American actor Mike Coulter, and American actress and comedian Melissa McCarthy. Macaulay Culkin, um, he starred in Home Alone, the Home Alone movies, a child actor. Alexa, how old is Macaulay Culkin? Alexa, how old is Macaulay Culkin? Macaulay Culkin is 44 years old. So, Alexa, how old was Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone? Macaulay Culkin was 10 when Home Alone was released. Do you see how time flies? Time flies, everybody. <coughs> Macaulay Culkin was 10 when he starred in Home Alone, the film, and now he's 44 years old. 44. Time flies like nobody's business. It does. He was a child actor. Um, so yeah, <coughs> Bank Holiday Monday. I've got no plans for today. Hopefully it'll be nice and relaxing. Um, I'll take Max out for a walk as usual and then see to my bits and pieces that I've let slide again because when I get fed up and a bit depressed I let the uh, washing up accumulate. So I've got a load of washing up to do and tidying up to do. And um, that's it for today really. Um, I try, I'm try. i trying to, to now focus on positive things um, and not let, um, not be mind fucked. Um, that's because people, I am a sensitive person. Um, I do tend to take things personally, personally and I get upset very easily. I'm very sensitive. And there are a lot of people like me in this world. Um, but unfortunately, there's a lot of people that take advantage of that fact and then mind fuck you and try to to uh, make you feel awful when you're a good person. So I'm trying to just focus on me, focus on what I'm doing and where I'm going. Wherever you go, you're going to get nasty people. I'm afraid. Uh, wherever you go, you could, it, it, you know, even educated people can be horrible. As we know that um, people um, in the church industry can be abusers. Uh, people in care homes and children's homes can be abusers, right? People in authority can be abusers, right? So there are, there are some nasty people wherever you go, wherever you are. And these people manipulate and use your insecurities and then, you know, you can get into trouble because 
they start to make you feel horrible about yourself you go run into them and then they take advantage of you and that's wrong right i i am one of these people that keep myself to myself and it saved me as a child as well by being quiet to not giving them any you know right if you want to do that to me i'm going to be stiff as a cardboard do you know what i mean it saved my life on many occasions just just not talking not talking and not reacting to their abuse they get fed up because they like a reaction and when I um, got upset last week, what I should have done is not reacted to it. But when you're under stress and you might not be feeling well, um, you can get triggered, unfortunately. And that's the whole point of their... That's the whole point. Oh, if we do this and we do that, that's going to upset her. And that, that's... that's and then I'm just, I was just thinking to myself last night that if people don't like you, if they think you're horrible, they just wouldn't come anywhere near you. They wouldn't trigger you off. Obviously, they're doing it for a reaction. They're just for a reaction. Maybe they want to, to, you know, after everything they've done to me, perhaps they want me, want me to speak, you know. So I might be sat down watching the telly and I might have been quiet for about two or three hours and then you'll hear a load of noise and some, you know, some things that are said out loud and you're, you're thinking, well, if they don't like you, if they're thinking you're horrible, they, 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 they wouldn't give a shit, would they? So they're, they're just trying to get a reaction. A reaction. Um, all that's happened this morning is that, of course, the word Ben, the word Ben is always started, usually first thing in the morning. Because my mother had a mental health nurse called Ben. He was Asian, right? And I think he, she had this male uh, psychiatric nurse for about 13 years, not me. Um... You get late. I, I got labelled mad because I was ratting on child abuse. I was, I was whistleblowing on child abuse. So I got labelled mad, um, to cover. It was covered up. What I was reporting was covered up. So I got labelled nuts, and a lot of people do. Get labelled mad, um, because they want to continue. Um, well, I think people are beginning to understand that we're not mad. This BBC business, someone's coming out as being a bit uh, perverted on, on BBC, aren't they? You know, dirty sex texts, uh, underage sex with, with minors on the BBC, Jimmy Savile, Hugh Edwards. And the latest one, right? It, we're not mad. Um, the BBC knew all about Sir Jimmy Savile and let it carry on and not inform the public. So we're not mad. <laughs> we're labelled mad so that it's covered up and kept secret. And that what you say is discredited because people have labelled you nuts, basically. And for, for, for a person that suffered abuse since I was a child, right up until my... Uh, well, I was abused by my father when I came down in 2008. And who the fuck let that happen? Who the fuck let that happen again? And who was covering up what my father was doing? Who, who let him abuse me at these caravan parks? These caravan parks. 
that he was taking to me, me to in these holiday places, pretending that I was his wife so that he could continue to abuse me. And um, shops were involved. Shops were involved. You know, supermarkets and supermarket staffs were involved in the abuse. <coughs> and Tesco's knew who my mother was. Tesco staff in Chatham knew who my mother was. So when my father walked me into Chatham Tesco's, and one of the staff said to me, his daughter, hasn't your partner got lovely hair? I said, no, that's not my partner, that's my father. And my father threatened me in the supermarket. He went, shut the fuck up. He went, shut the fuck up. And you could see all these funny characters were in Tesco's. When I was in there with my father, there was a funny woman with a crutch and she didn't look as if she needed a crutch because she'd pick the crutch up and start walking fast without the crutch. So I know that sounds funny, but it's true. All these funny characters appearing in the supermarkets, the dwarves, um, the, the, you know, the, the scooters, the bicycles going into supermarkets, the security not doing anything about anything. And when my dad used to dump me, just dump me, run off and dump me like he used to do to Jennifer, he used to dump my mother. Before I came down from Gloucestershire, my mum said that my father used to dump her in car parks, leave her in car parks and drive off. And they'd argue in the supermarket. And, it, you know, how comes I got swapped over with my mother? How, yeah, how comes I got swapped over with my mother? And who's responsible for swapping me over with Jennifer? Who's responsible for it? Who's allowed it to go on? And now I'm an older woman. And I just want to live my life. I want to live my life, carry on my life and meet somebody and have a bit of fun. Who's done this to me? Swap me over with an old lady. And now my father's dead. Can't they stop it? Can't they just stop it and leave me alone? It's all right giving me money. It's all right, like, you know, oh, here's a bit of money. It, you know, that, that doesn't cover up abuse, does it? Offering people money to shut their mouth. Offering people money to keep their mouth shut. And, that, you know, it's, it's <laughs> what's been done to me, it's a piddling amount of, of money anyway, isn't it? All I can do is live my life the best I can and I can make myself happy. And last night I watched a Netflix film and it was really, really good. I like these uh, films based in, um, based in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, these films like that, older films. Um, so it was about um, a, a, a teenage girl starting in a like a clothes, what do you call it? Like, are you being served? Like one of these uh, sh shops on floors, you know, they were selling dresses and this girl was starting as like as a helper to these women in black. And it's called Women in Black. It's a brilliant film. I really, really enjoyed it. So I watched Women in Black last night on Netflix. Absolutely brilliant film. Especially if you're a woman on your own like me and you've got nothing else to do. It's, it's one of those films that's... It's, it's just... It's watchable and it, it's... There's no nastiness in it and it's just... It was just brilliant. Women in Black on Netflix. Absolutely brilliant film. Sat and watched that. And... Uh, yeah, I just get on with my life. 
as best I can by myself because obviously um, there's this conspiracy that's going on outside and I'm labelled a nutcase uh, because my dad abused me and swapped me with my mother. And we know there's cases of, of people, um, what's his name, Fritzel, Fritzel uh, um, locked his daughter in the cellar, had sex with her and had children. He even burnt uh, one of the babies that I think came out stillborn or something. He, he burnt the baby in the oven. Just a, a dirty father that was having sex with his daughter and locked her in the cellar and had children with her. It's not as bad as that, but it's similar. <laughs> Fritzl, F-R-I-T-Z-L. There's, there's, there's men out there that are paedophiles and have sex with their daughters. It's disgusting, I know, but it goes on because it happened to me. And then when you try and go for help, they, you know, even to this day, a victim of that kind of thing is labelled dirty because they just don't want to 